Okay, this is the data that I exported from the app. So if I open that up, you'll see I've got five columns there. The first one is time, the next one is intensity, and then the next three deal with the position of the phone and it's the role I want, it's the role and the light intensity. So I'm just gonna copy that into the new spreadsheet here and copy the intensity as well. And then let's have a look at this data. Well, the roll column, this is the angle in degrees, the orientation at which I was holding the telephone. And I wanted to go from zero to 90. There's a lot of data here. Well, there's a lot of data anyway. There's more than 800 rows of data because the telephone is recording data multiple times a second. But there's a lot here before I actually start. That was after I'd switched the app on and trying to get the phone into position. So you will see somewhere down about here, there it starts to go up now from zero towards 90. So where that sequence starts, I'm going to start my data and I'm going to delete everything above that. So I'm going to delete everything above here. So to delete them, highlight the cells, select the cells, then right click and delete. There's a similar thing at the bottom because once I've got up to 90 and gone back down towards zero again, it's a bit of messing around after I've stopped recording and take the phone away from the other filter to get the app switched off. So again, I'm going to delete all of that so that we've only got the zero to 90 and back again. So this is the data we've got. I'm going to plot a graph to see what that looks like. And first, I'm going to remove this top row because sometimes a blank top row means the graph doesn't plot that very well. So insert chart and let's see what it looks like okay that's not too bad <clears throat> we've got what looks like two curves there because it's joined the points in order so it's kind of gone from zero to 90 and then back again but the fact that they're quite close together um, is reassuring because it means the light levels around me didn't change significantly while i was doing this and it also means i was able to keep the two filters more or less the same distance apart while i did this so what we want to do really is to plot the intensity against the cosine squared. So to calculate the cosine squared, I'm just going to create a bit more space here by moving this out of the way. I'm going to do this in three steps. You might want to do it in one, but I'm not brave enough. So the first thing I'm going to do is calculate my angle in radians. Then I'm going to calculate the cosine and then I'm going to calculate the cosine squared. So the radians, I want this number multiplied by pi. You can just type in here pi and select it, but then you need to close a bracket and then slash 180. So times by pi divided by 180. And there's our angle now in radians. To work out the cosine squared of that, equals for a formula and then open a bracket because you want a function and start to type cos there it is there you want the cos of that and then close the bracket and there's our cosine now to square the cosine um we need to put this number oops this number here to the power of two um, there is a button somewhere on your laptop to give a power, but I don't know where it is on this one because I'm not on my usual keyboard here. So what to do if you don't know is to just do that cell multiplied by itself and that will do the same job. Okay, so now we've got those in, highlight those together and drag this down to the bottom of the sheet. There's a lot of data here. Oh, there it is. Okay, so now we've got the cosine calculated all the way down there, or the cosine squared rather. And what I want to do now is to plot the intensity on the y axis against the cosine squared on the x axis. 
The easiest way to get the sheet to do this the way I want it to is to have those on their own in a new spreadsheet. Otherwise, sometimes it tries to plot two separate line graphs with two columns of data. So I'm going to go to the bottom here and I'm going to make a new sheet. And I'm going to take a cosine squared in the first column. Oops. Um, what I should do there is edit, paste, special values only it can't calculate a formula because it's got no other data so back to that sheet intensity put the intensity in here right so now we should be able to plot the graph and if the intensity is really proportional to the cosine squared we're hoping for a straight line graph here okay now um, again, it's tried to do two different points. I'm going to put this as a scatter chart instead. So I'm going to choose here where it says line chart and just scroll down to scatter. And then it plots points instead. That definitely looks like a straight line. There's a bit of fluctuation, of course. It's not a perfectly narrow straight line, but it is definitely a straight line. You might be wondering why it doesn't start from the origin, why it doesn't start from zero intensity. Well, the filters I had, even when they were placed at 90 degrees, didn't cut out 100% of the light. So that's what the difference is there. There was some light coming through, even when the filters were perpendicular. Um, but otherwise, that looks pretty good. 